a lot of our dynamics clients still get confused when it comes to providing and building the right security model. They don't know which model or which access they can give the users. I didn't, they don't know what tools to use. Do they use business units? Do they use owner team? Do they use access team? Or manager hierarchy or position hierarchy? All of these names get them confused and they don't know what to do. Today, we're going to explain them one by one and we're going to see some examples and when to use which one of those based on the example. First example, you have a B2B sales company that, of course, they try to have their territories and inside the territory, it can have of territory. As an example, you can have an East region and you can have a West region. And inside the East region, you can have Northeast and Southeast. Every sales rep is assigned a territory, and the requirement is the sales rep can see only his records and no, and he can see the records for anyone else. Of course, the manager for that sub territory or sub region can see the records for all the sales reps, and the manager of the manager can see all. The easiest solution in that case, it's a very obvious. You need to use the business units, and you can't use the business units alone. You need to use business units with security rule and the ownership for that example is going to be for users. As an example, let's say that you have a help desk system and that help desk system manages multiple products. As an example, you have an electronics company that provides help for TVs, cell phones, and routers. Let's say the requirement is all is the TV group can access all the cases or all the tickets that's coming for the TV product and the cell phone group or the cell phone team can only see those records and the router teams is the same. In this case, you know that every team will see their own records and the requirements is anyone inside that team can see in the record for that product. For simplicity, the easier solution in that case would you use what we call owner teams. Again, along with security model and in this case, Every record is not going to be owned by individuals like we did in the other example, but the records over here will be owned by the owner teams. Now, let's go to a third scenario. We have a consulting company, and inside this consulting company, we have multiple talents. Let's say multiple departments. We have the SharePoint group, we have the Azure group, and we have the Dynamics group. The requirement is when a project come, they can pick up anyone from any department and the team that they will be performing is going to be dynamic. As an example, in one project, they can pick one resource from the Azure group or two resources from the SharePoint group and nothing from the dynamics. In the second project that they can pick three resources from the Azure group, two resources from the, you know, or three resources from the dynamics group and no one from the SharePoint group. So you will see here that the team is dynamic. The team is not fixed. And one of the requirements also is Every person inside that team can see all the data and all the records. And another requirement is that team can share some records to another team in case of that there is two similarities or there is two um, similar cases or similar documents that can be shared to other team. In that case, you can use an access team. And the reason that you're using the access team because the team is formulating dynamically, there is no structured team. And keep in mind, for simplicity, we're saying that you can use the access team along with security model and the owner for that case also, you know, it's going to be the team, but the request could be shared. What I just said is just a very general example and very general guidelines. Of course, when you come to implementation, Devil in details when it gets to the detail design and design detail implementation. So to brief, who want to use each one of those? So to make it easier, if you have a very structured organization and a very structured business units and there is less changes and every person is going to own their own records and every person that is responsible for the end records, in this case, use business units. In the other case, if you have also teams and those teams is well structured, but the whole team is responsible for the record. In that case, you can use the uh, and, and you can use the uh, owner teams and keep in mind in the access teams, all the team member can collaborate. And the third scenario, if your team is very dynamic, you can create a team and dissolve a team and the team members also are dynamic. In that case, you can use the access teams. 
because the collaboration here is easier and collaboration even between multiple teams is easier. Again, what we said is just the very general case. Devil in details when it comes to implementation. Please let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And if you want to know more details and if you have more questions about the detailed implementation, please leave free to DM me. Thank you.